What's up guys? It's Riantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. Link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome back and happy freaking Friday. Hopefully everybody is ready for a great weekend. So today, today we are back in Skyrim, and we're taking a look at this. Now, let me just go ahead and frame this shot for you real quick. Just look at how beautiful this is. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, just simple. So what are we looking at today, guys? Well, today we're looking at Traveler's Rest. So Traveler's Rest is a small shack by the road from Helgen to Riverwood. It has everything an adventurer should need to start off on a new journey. A forge, storage, gear, warm bed, and much more. What's not to love? So here is kind of a, uh, a description of what's going on with this entire mod. So the reason I picked this mod for a showcase, guys, is because of its simplicity and its location. If you are one to start off Skyrim in, like, say you do an alternate start or even the vanilla start, and you want a home directly off the bat, especially with the vanilla start, if you want a home directly off the bat that is not over the top, doesn't have, like, the, the bells and whistles as the big castles or the big chateaus and all that stuff, this is probably one of your best bets. It is a small-time cabin with a bed, all the necessities for uh, smelting and grinding up stuff and crafting stuff and everything like that. And it's right down the road from Riverwood. Literally, you are like right in Riverwood. Riverwood is right there. So let me go ahead and show you where it's at on the map because I, I love little houses like this, you know? So you've got Traveler's Rest right here. You've got Riverwood. You've got the Guardian Stones. And then Helgen is right here. And it's just in a prime location. You're right around the corner from Whiterun, and it's just a nifty little spot. So, as you can see, on the outside, it's just beautiful. You got this big tree right next to your home. You got a view of the mountains and Riverwood everywhere. You have your own forge. You got a uh, workbench, a tanning rack, a cooking pot, and then you got your grindstone out here. Just a, a super cool little spot. Just a very, very nifty little spot. Now, the inside of the home has everything that you could possibly need as far as storage and bed and all of that stuff. I mean, look at how nifty it looks in here, guys. Just so, it's just so quaint, you know? And I know I've, I've showcased quite a few very large homes, but I always say I love to take a step back and look at the smaller homes because of the amount of detail that is in them. And I love the fact that you can see out of the, the log cabin, no matter what time it is. I think that's such a neat touch. Now, there is kind of a sound in the, uh, the, the background. It, I think it's the sound of, like, waving flags and stuff like that. It can get a little bit, uh, annoying at times, but it kind of adds to the aesthetic and kind of just the overall feel of the house. I think it's kind of nifty. So you have a nice little seating area right here. You got some weapon plaques to store some weapons if you want to. You've got a, a strong box, some chests... And it's just a nifty little spot. Here's your bed and a chest for all of your good stuff. So it is indeed the definition of a starting house. It is the most simple thing ever for you to start off with, guys. And if anyone likes to roleplay or anything like that, to have like a, um, a person that just lives off of the land and, and hunts and stuff like that, this is the house for you. It's honestly the house for you. It's got all the necessities you could possibly need. The only thing that I haven't seen is the smelter, but the smelter is right down the road in Riverwood. So it's just, it's all centrally located and you're good to go. So one of the more shorter, uh, one of the more short mod showcases for today's episode, guys, but I thought it was necessary to show off this awesome freaking house. So I hope you enjoyed today's little mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And guys, I will see you in the next video.